the belly flop, where you either make a splash, an ass out of yourself, or both. I am Alex. And I'm CW. Welcome to the show. What's up, everyone? Welcome to What's another up, episode everyone? of the Belly Welcome Flop. To, uh, to this another is week of the Belly Flop. And this, this is, is CW. Alex. And this Coming is Alex. from a Hope cold and wintry. A, uh, great week so far. Huntington, West Virginia. Hope you yeah, got uh, cold real fast. It did. Winter Valentine's finally uh, yeah, making an appearance. Hope, well, if you had one. Yeah. Hope everyone had a you safe and happy Thanksgiving. From Hopefully snow, you and your uh, and everyone here has had a lovely, small family uh, gatherings. Did not turn violent. Yeah. With more followed expected all the guidelines. You followed the guidelines. So, yeah, ate all the food. Thursday. Hopefully played it safe. It wasn't as bad as anticipated. Hopefully yes. you did not go out and about. Hopefully, I mean, if you Black Friday shopping day, because I you literally just shopped the entire dinner. I mean, house to, uh, why would you listen to family when you could literally just buy stuff? Candy's always it's so easy. Yeah, the ads didn't. Yeah. I mean, I know we looked at the ads yeah. Thursday, yeah. and there was Box really candy. nothing worth. Apparently, all the sales had already been going on. Box Box a lot candy. of stores have been yeah. having those sales for weeks. Was, uh, sorted. There was no. Uh, Chocolates are pretty good. Oh, no urgent so need to go stand in line for that yeah. one TV that Best Buy may Probably have. on the chocolate part. Yeah, but like, people were sure. out and about. Like the strawberry yeah. and all that stuff. She's good. You know, that's the economy. Hopefully, people did it in a safe and responsible way. We hope. It was too Hopefully. For me. We'll find out. We should, yeah, in about a week. A yeah. But also another that November stuff, update, just to tie yeah. up some loose ends. No Shave like November has ended. Yeah. And hey, it this year you got a officially, bag of well, tomorrow stuff. is officially know, December 1st. Fun, right. 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 Yeah. But Alex, however. Uh, okay, I didn't mean to imply that someone actually got those for you. Well, I bought shit myself. Yes. I got notified Saturday night that Jessica had scheduled Starburst bags, family pictures for Sunday. And a couple years ago, which is good. I responded, I'm assuming this means you want me to trim my beard. The best. Yeah. And she actually said, is it too soon? Starburst, that's the way to go. So I give her some credit. Yeah, there's some support right there. But I was over it. (laughs) Maybe. And it was only two days early. He'll be the day. Yeah, it wasn't like. I felt so good. Early in the week. Early in the month. Once I trimmed it off, it felt so good. It had gotten a little bit, for me, too much. I didn't realize that it was too, like, you showed me those. The, that side picture, yeah, and I was like, I mean, "Damn, that's a like Starburst, you had some substantial starts, beard." Skittles. For me, it was a lot. I've never had it that long. Snickers, Probably yeah, I, mean, I was like, candy. Long, yeah. I was gonna say, you were not a fan, so no. I mean, it wasn't bothering me anymore. Yeah. I just did. It, yeah, so seems then, to always be in the I don't house. know. I looked old, and then weather. I felt like I looked a lot older. Weather ended up doing because mm-hmm. number one, it's really Monday, gray, but, um, that was, uh, <laughs> which is great when it's short too. But people had a day off. I don't know from work. I just felt like I looked old. Yeah. Old and disheveled. Maybe. Next year, shave the beard, keep the mustache. Yeah, I, when yeah, I was trimming, trimming it, it, I did that. Yeah. I, I like trimmed it down um, to a goatee, and I looked at Jessica. Maybe I was like, "How about this?" Holiday. She was like, "No." But the well, not for pictures. Yeah, yeah. So then I trimmed it down just to just the mustache. You just had. To <laughs> you start thinking about yourself. <laughs> she you was like, "Hell no." <laughs> Today's oh. national whatever. Yeah, I'm just picturing. Yeah, yeah, although it was pretty line, stellar mustache, I have to admit. I was gonna say that would probably be entertaining. Morning. Yeah, I think mashup. maybe next year I'll actually always, go all out, think, shave some random for real. Ass holiday. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, start from the beginning of the month and Retriever just do the mustache. Just grow the stash. Yeah. Like, that would be entertaining. Today. Hell, we'll I don't. Happens. I was actually looking at old pictures of myself. Just in February, last winter. Like, I apparently shaved and had a mustache. According to my OneDrive photo backup. Then Saturday and yeah, I just don't. I just, it's just not a good look for me. Mustaches are hard to pull off. I just don't think day. it really worked. Yeah. Okay. My dad's okay. had one forever. He shaved it off once. Then you and got both like, what the hell? Day. Day. Yeah, that yeah. one confused. Yeah. You have day. messed up. Like, not yeah. sure why that's a yeah. necessary yeah. national. So, but that's by the Crab it's Producers over. Association no of America. I'm not trimming the beard anymore. I mean, the time has come. Until next year. Keep it trimmed through the holiday season. Hopefully, you supported national some causes or did something day. if you if you participated or whatever. Argyle but, Day. You know, it's Donate. done. Yeah, awareness. Joy that's germ the key. Day. Winter Skin Relief so, Day. Like we said, it's cold outside. <laughs> yeah, you Peking always are telling day. me that my house. I don't cold. understand why we have all this. Yes, it is. Every time we're over here designs. recording, I'm like, dude, it's cold. Do you cold apply? So like what that. is your ideal house temp? Do you have to apply? Does it have to I don't be know. So we keep tweets. I feel like Mine's like probably like 70 Boom, it magically happens. Tater Tater But I'm day, married. Heavenly okay. hash day. So I'm willing to celebrate that It's day. on 74. <laughs> Gumdrop day. And that's year round. Like, it's not like we make it warmer National in the winter, Green colder in the summer. We just, day, which 72. Valentine's Day. Um, part of that's for... Efficiency wise, we're mm-hmm. gonna just leave that we all one. electric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll pass those jokes. Um, Efficiency is key. Yes, right? yes. <laughs> but um, yeah, we keep it on seventy four. <laughs> I just think it's funny because it's always a battle between. It's still in February. I'm, I'm still in February here. 
So she's like doing women always I mean, want it like it, hot. It seems on. like I except don't understand you know, not all women. The women uh, like it cold. Reach as high as you can day. And men are kind of the same. Oh, some men like it. It, it just uh, seems to be that it's usually 14, the man wants it colder and the woman wants it hot. Yes. Um, <laughs> I agree with that. And that's kind of how it is. I would <laughs> prefer 70, uh, 72. Is that, is that, is that when I first bought that house, you, like, I kept it on 68 before, for like a year and then finally uh, gave in. And then up. Somehow we've gotten that. to 74 at this <laughs> yeah. point. Next time I know it's going to be 85 degrees in there. It's been a slow progression. But I mean, next thing I know is going to be 85. Well, I know you understand. Why do they have For instance, my house right now is 67. 67. Yeah, I just looked at that. Which is the general temp in my house. Yeah. That's not too bad today. Time for that shit before. Um, you're That's wearing, it's like thirty something outside. You're wearing a pullover, and, and I have like a nice thick pullover on. Yeah, so you get one or the other. Too, no, you're not one. getting both. But I just think it's funny um, to watch that spouse dynamic day. play out <laughs> the for list people. Is, I mean, this is the long. And then you know, the dad thing is no, always like, don't things. touch turn the thermostat down. down. Like, don't I mean, touch it. Leave it. Don't turn the heat on until it's secondary market. December. Okay, I do that. There are some. It's just me. So I can't say anything. Yeah, when it's just you, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I don't really but know. Like literally, like, there were several those cool morning, says, oh, it's mornings where I was like, yeah, you know, it's I, almost that time. I could I don't probably get, turn the heat on, but roast, suckling it's going to be day. like 75 in like okay. a day. So answer See, I do like, not like to be That's cold. Yeah, somebody made that one up. Definitely. Now, it is easier, I don't, I don't obviously, to cover up and get warm than it is to remove because answer the phone in a, you can only remove so much. For instance, December 4th, especially when you got kids running around or other people. You ever heard Your of kids are running around their underwear yeah. anyway, so it doesn't mean that whole day to yeah, celebrate. They don't care, not. but I'm not. So, True. That's like now. Um, add it to my calendar. Um, once you get down to your underwear, you, December fourth, you take that off. There you can't no, get any. You can't get anything national. else off. They're You're not going to cool any. You know where ways. No more ways. So sky warm recognition day. To me, it makes more sense to keep it colder. But I'm just going to make it a. I like to be comfortable. I'm just going to start. Tweeting happy so, national whatever day. We pick a temp. So I'm naturally a little well, warmer person. From the belly flop account. So, so uh, my <laughs> yeah, my 67 feels pretty good most of the time. I don't it's understand. Not, I just don't yeah, see why these cold. days exist. Yeah. Uh, I mean, some of them. I do have a set that were uh, like whenever national I arm the alarm person's go to bed. That, it adjusts. It adjusts and drops down even further. Day. Oh, so you like to sleep when I mean, it's cold? I'm not going yes. to object to national donut. All about like getting warm. You just well, look at that you down comforter over day. top. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you like. Well, we've, we've talked about good this sheets. I mean, with a friend day. It's, it's, it's nice. We have talked about sleeping with like the top sheet. Okay. Uh, before, but just, like, like a special friend yeah, I mean, or like I just yeah, I don't mind it being cold when I'm sleeping. Specific. I like to put Vague like one leg ambiguous. out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To like uh, dog. I like to be warm, day, but have like one leg out where it's cold. Tortilla. Well, you gotta balance out the ten. Yeah. I don't know. Because there's still like the like like you're like I would sit in the cold bed and you're like oh you just try to get warm. You probably and then it's like, oh, strawberry day. No, I'm sweating. Hot. Throw everything That's over shit. the 27th. It would yeah. make it well. Oh, Jessica was always had public like, sleeping day. Bed heaters. We'll celebrate that one. Like, really? You fall yeah. Asleep in public? Set to like yes. 95 yeah, degrees. Call, in college, oh, no. we put that black yeah. out. Yeah. So I like come getting bed later. And I don't have my side really, turned it, on. I made sure to buy the just, ones that are separate. I'm just really <laughs> curious. So I can control my own. I'll turn the feet one on. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Not that hot. But like, but when know. when does it, she'll I mean, turn hers on all the way and list, it'll like the heat the whole bed up? I don't understand. I can't. I don't want to be hot <laughs> really and sweaty. No, I don't. I, I, that's not I don't understand how enjoyable when I'm sleeping. There are times hot and sweaty is fantastic. Oh, there's steak and BJ day. <laughs> no, I have heard of that. It's March 14th. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, also, happens sometimes to be right it's before in the bedroom. Both in the bedroom. Yep. This is interesting. But uh, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not. Um, <laughs> about July, you're like, turn on the fan. Yes. Yeah. You know, so how do you sleep? I mean, I mean just, we, we kind of rolled into sleeping. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, sleeping is apparently the topic today. Yeah. Happy National I'm a, I'm a day. side I'm sleeper. Like, fuck. Side sleeper? Okay. Side and stomach. Like Groundhog Day. We well, talked about that last week. Yes. I, uh, now, that's shocked. entirely different. I was reading an article the other day. We went over it. Yeah. Really? You do that? Yeah. That got me thinking, about all these stupid days. I'm still more inclined to look at philosophy, I guess, study, whatever, is saying that side sleeping is the correct way to sleep. Okay. Yeah, but for sure. You should not it's have your arm up good. I mean, underneath I'm like that. your head like or your pillow. Time. Yeah. It should be kind of like in front of you. Like mm-hmm. And you should, okay, not yeah. sleep, you should not sleep in the fetal position either. Breakfast. Okay. Lunch. Now, obviously, these Dinner. studies are stupid because they're like, okay, Snack. sleep like a robot. Breakfast. Legs straight, back straight, National sides day, like on your side, thing. rolled over with your arms. On your side. Like with your hands in like the prayer position. I'm like, sandwich who the fuck sleeps like that? I'm not a big no. real cheese guy. Who stays like that once they fall asleep? Pizza. Serial no. killers. I mean, yes. they're the only people who don't move Cereal when they sleep. Serial killers. Uh, but yeah. 
Yeah, like I'm like a, a wild half day. side. Like, so I'm on my side, but I'm kind of rolled <laughs> towards my stomach because I got like one leg kicked up. Okay. <laughs> That's like That's my go-to. Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. But, like a modified. Yeah, also like apparently sleep on my back with like one leg up. Like one knee like up, like bent. And then, so like, apparently it falls over and just Jessica you're, all the time. You're ready to take a knee. Time. Yeah. A bean counter? Yeah. I'm so, kidding. I don't really care. I mean, I've slept with one one knee like that and the other I'm leg just, on it. Who the hell decides really? that? Before. Like, yeah. We need just sleeping on your back like that. <laughs> but apparently I snore too much on my back, so. Yeah, I get that, that's a no. I get punched and have to roll over. So then, like, your, like, leg falling and hitting your wife is just not helping the situation. Yeah, that either. Well, yeah, they probably do. We apologize for Knox's panting. He is literally. He's interested in what we're talking about. Think yeah, about sleep, these are he said. Commercial. Oh yeah. Well, well, they all get commercialized. But, uh, I do that a lot. Yes. But you know, you got people who sleep on their stomach. Comic book data. Yeah. Get which apparently, is terrible. No, I do that quite a bit. Apparently, it's bad for you. I'm sure it is. It crushes everything. Most things in life are. According to that article that was on. I'm sure they do. The news. Apple News. Um, yeah, it was on Apple News. Day. Like, what the hell is that? I read all the time, but I can't. I have it saved. Actually, I can go find it, but. Two um, different colored shoes. Because I'm a nerd that like that. Just fucking go. But yeah, uh, so you can uh, reference this one. Uh, yeah. Just needs well, to get, I mean, hit the yeah. road, get out. And here we are. Here we yeah. are. Let's see. Save stories. Anyway, it is. Um, if this is the best sleep position for feeling good the next day. Days, let me know. Okay. okay. That's what it said. On this list, and it sure says that you should sleep on your side. It's like we just like I just mentioned. Basically, what I just said. We could. I can post this on here. Let me know. So the, they're suggesting the robotic actually, side yeah, kinda, position. I did a little quick Google. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. Basically, then, according like, to the Atlantic, you know, it says you the don't the article, achieve the devastating the truth then, about I guess that helps you get into day. the deep sleep quicker. Why being millions in that of people position. are extremely eager to celebrate I, I fake holidays but, sponsored um, by corporations. Yeah, I do what uh, they so say not are, to do um, in those articles. Like I do sleep on my side. Yeah, like, not necessarily in the fetal position, but as a sales one leg, sales I was like leg, a... like somewhere moved, not um, not perfectly straight. Donut day is June fourth. But I have an um, iPad sponsored by Duncan. I'm like Probably. propped up. Gingerbread day is June. Because that's what you're watching. And Moon then like I'll be like that's how I fall asleep. Like okay. I don't sleep with the TV yeah, or anything on or lights. June fifth. I like that. But the iPad is on long enough. on June fifth for YouTube video or something. If you were normally within on June fifth, two or three minutes, I am out. Um, and I'm, I have certain videos that I fall asleep to, yeah. like super, super quick. Uh, well, uh, we'll, number one, that's we'll terrible list. Yeah. for your sleep Day to you watch videos or TV or anything right before you go to sleep. But anyway, that's a different story. Well, but it know, actually talks about that. that like, think are interesting. you know, what would you do? You can. It's okay to lay like that while you're watching well, something. What I'm but to like, go to sleep, you should get in this. Well, whatever position it is. Wild guest day? Um, yes. But then they and also go on to say at the end of the day, our experts agree that comfort is most work, important. Make a wild hmm. guess. So about what? whatever's the most com- comfortable. What, whatever makes you happy. Um, it's too much open-ended. Circumstances. It says yeah. other postures like sleeping on your back tall can also be well, beneficial if be executed this. properly. Okay. Which, Waffle there again, I don't understand how do you properly What is properly sleeping? If you're going to sleep on your back, this doctor recommends placing a pillow under your head and under both of your knees in order to support and level the spine. Okay. I don't know. Feel free yeah, to experiment with exact pillow placement as, so as to support the natural curvature of your unique spine. We need a reason, especially in the past year, to celebrate whatever we put. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's where this should have a lot of work just to fall asleep. But it says when you're inside, yeah. you should also put a pillow hey, between your knees. To Listen, you can't leave your house to get shit, but here nope. is um, national. Apparently, a lot of people do. Day on July 10th. Um, body yes. pillows are great. Day, July 11th. Apparently. Enjoy. Nope. I think every day probably has a national. Anyway, I was reading an article and I have it right here. So, uh,. We can like just it. keep it going. I'm sure the mattress comes well, in play there, too. Why are you drunk? Yeah, I'm sure, I don't know hey, what, what's best between like, I'm just like celebrating the Tempur-Pedic the style, memory foam style versus like spring. I'm not going to do anything Nash- else. Or if you need a Nash- combination. Or, so yours, really, yeah, memory, memory foam or regular? Yeah, yeah, we have full memory foam. Came in a box. Behind that. Uh, earlier today. Unfolded. Like yesterday. Two days later. Well, we had it set in the dining room for like three weeks because it had like an odor to it. Yeah. That like rubber manufactured. I was actually looking at new mattresses. That's a big and one of the uh, you should let them air out. Caution. Sure. I just thought it was crazy. Was, some of the days on uh, it will take two well, I mean, to two to three days to fully yourself. expand. Yep. And it will. Oh, it's have natural donut day. Get a donut. Yeah, natural they have this like day. it's get like a cream. manufactured They're rubber rough. smell, it. Yeah. and uh, it does take Which, a while to yeah. get out. Another day I, I used to enjoy. Kind of what you're sleeping about earlier. Yeah, I actually just bought two little five inch ones for our spare bed. I miss as an adult. Spare bedroom looks like is a trundle that actually like becomes like a king bed. You're always stressing about when you pull it out. It's not like a trundle that's too separate. It just slides out. It's really neat design. Works canceled. IKEA for the win. Just get up, go out. So I bought two twin mattresses and they just kind of sit on top of each other until you fold it out and you just flip it over. But anyway, they popped up. They're up full size, ready to go within like I don't know three hours. Yeah, 
Yeah. Now, you know, my mattress is 12 inches thick, it's so it did crazy. take a long I mean, time. Kids, to, like, just don't want to do it, it seems. It took, it took really? a while. To expand, and, the and then we did leave it want sitting in there, the so it didn't stink so bad okay. for some reason. Yeah, you don't want that swelling up your bedroom. See, I yeah. I've seen pictures that is of how you're not going to end up hot and sweaty in the bedroom. In a good way. I've seen a lot of adults out there in the snow. But, I mean, we've had a Tempur-Pedic, which was outrageous. Something to do outside. I hated it at first. Jessica liked it. We got it when she was pregnant with our first kid. We're doing this. I did it. And they're she like loved zooming it down a hill. I hated it. Yeah. Trying not to it kind of flipped. She hated it. I, I loved it. Well, we got a new one. Well, snow. we got a bigger bed. as a queen. So. <laughs> hey, you still have time. Now my eight-year-old oh, sleeps on the twenty-nine hundred-dollar mattress. Mm -hmm. Need like snow, snow. Like Luckily, it doesn't pee the bed anymore. Okay, that's legit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to ruin that one. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's one you're definitely like getting a cover for. Yeah, it has one. But it's it's just a day to be. I'm sure mattress does play a lot in work. Make up all this Making sure your spine's today. straight yes. and all that, because that is important. Especially for me. See, yeah, I uh, that's upgraded mine about a year and a half ago. Like, oh, shit, I can't miss this day. I went to I Hilton like Head this past week. I thought like everyone in our area. I go every year, but then two Septembers ago. Because there was no power. Well, I was no like going during, during hurricane season. Telephone lines. <laughs> yeah. So I got a text about the time I hit Charlotte. I can't. Probably you didn't want to go to the snow if you didn't warm back up. Yes. And uh, Unless you, so had, you like, couldn't do anything like, in your oh, house. Hey, the you island couldn't really do anything out of your house. Like, yeah. not letting people room. on because You're of the hurricane. There. Yeah, it was and I'm like, well, was tough shit. Week. Tough couple. So tough I decided days. to treat um, yourself. Well, people are still without. And so, I, I mean, spent the night at the Ritz-Carlton in Charlotte. Good, one of our good buddies. And, I mean, and, um, lost power Wednesday. So and I Saturday. maybe fell in love with the feather bed that goes on top of the mattress. But, I mean, what so it's like a little like, like an actual. It's thing. imagine like a mattress pad. I'm gonna go out and play. Maybe like down. I remember like in the but fraternity, but it's made of like four or five in inches of down. We would all like. It's so like a big expensive. It is perhaps like the, the best night, invention the big ever. Snow. So we would. Do you not get like poked? Park, you know, a little huh. sleigh riding out behind feather the stem there, things. So this one does not. Get pulled. Did you get one for your house? I did. Oh, I paid I way too much money for it. For me, I feel like you'd have to. No what the yeah, but was. it is. True. So I drove a CRX. Amazing. Do you have it on like a regular spring mattress, or do you have it so on? I have a, I have a regular board, mattress. So there was yes. a lot yeah. of um. It was, it was like not doing. I lucked out whenever I was turn, looking like, for my first slide and bump into the actual curb mattress. And, you know, going, like, okay, I'm good. I'm I good. went I shopping it. and uh, so much fun. I like the first like I love two mattresses I loved, and they were not. Ridiculously expensive. Yeah, but now, so, like, I have I've had that mattress probably playing eight or nine years now. Something. Yeah. It's wow. Yeah. yeah. With only the addition lot, of a parking lot that doesn't have parking. Feather 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 <laughs> <on top of laughs> so that I better know that ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it's, it's amazing. Snow. Yeah, our Kings has mattresses. Find out the hard way. Took a Serta. Came in a box. Bam. Yeah. I feel like it's getting time to where I have to buy a new mattress. Better than the Tempur Pedic, though. Yeah. Car stuff. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Really I, is. Love, I love driving. I like the early memory foams had like issues, possibly. All that stuff. Ours is eight years old. Mm. As long as you know what you're doing. Some, I burn day. up. Yeah. So like the sometimes the memory foams are warm. Yeah, some are cooling. Some, some yeah. yeah. My only my only <laughs> problem with memory foams <laughs> okay, is yeah. clear like, and there's nobody. Some coming. of them don't so I was, the respond as quickly. Like they don't restore themselves the, back to their the normal shape. Yeah, they do. So like when you roll over, lay down and fall asleep. You just take it a little turn, a little extra. And then if you go to like a little, move, little slidage and you kind of like fall like, back in that boom, hole, even though you might it's, not be in that same exact position. So it's really awkward. And and so it, could, it just depends on the mattress. Yeah. But See that? The computer sliding. stops you. So from speaking being of an idiot. Um, awkward yeah, and I gotta turn it off bad decisions. To have fun with the kids. Jessica gets mad. You brought something to my house this evening. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so we we mentioned, I don't remember when. I don't, I, we're not that many episodes in, but I still can't remember when we like, talked about it. Well, like but mine, if you hit we the We mentioned button, the one-chip challenge. It disengages, but as soon and as you like... thank God we never did it, it because really slipping bad. we're smarter than we look. We haven't done it. So you got to like a combination of buttons you press. I really haven't been able to procure one, I guess. I really haven't tried that hard. You could hit the button and it would turn it off. But, That's probably accurate. Yeah, but you uh, a guy that works for us, um, not us, but for me, you, and you um, in the button, and it found a bag the, of uh, chips you know, made yeah. by the same company that makes the chip using click the click one chip up, challenge. Acknowledge what you were which doing. is I'm assuming that's pronounced this move. Basically, you're not blaming us. Yeah, you mess something up. Yeah. These are haunted ghost pepper chips. Every yeah. And on the back, it really basically says. They're freaking hot. Um, the car tries to correct. The it hurts so good. 
Which is good. Do you dare eat them? But when you're trying to have fun. So we thought it'd be kind of funny to see if what happens when we eat them here on. uh, Now we're not gonna have video, thankfully. But I would like it. Uh, So we'll talk you through the pain. (laughs) Again, we are smarter than we look. Yeah, we'll talk you through the pain. You may hear some heaving. Our our nose is not constructed. We're gonna find out if the podcast suddenly ends quickly. You know, and they were putting like you know what? Homes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these. Yeah, and they're really and we'll smell them first. Kind of talk about that. The rules. So. What are the um, for building? What well, the, uh, what I was told not meet by the guy who picked these up, I think he ate some. No. He was in Florida. Uh, okay. Uh, he Maybe said, I, I, "Yeah, I don't know that I'd want uh, to." If you're still year, thinking about doing the one chip like challenge, try these, yeah, and know, if they don't feet, absolutely like wreck feet, your maybe? stomach, oh, it's cool when you see them. Like, you see might be ready to try the one chip challenge. Just okay. Like so you, you uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Would you want? You were going to ask me a question. I was going to say, what was the main ingredient? Yeah. Well, they're corn chips, and it has ghost pepper, chipotle pepper, pepper cayenne yeah. pepper, Actually, yeah, chili powder, a buddy garlic doing that powder, now onion with, powder, uh, and some other stuff. Without power. It's cold enough outside. Yeah. Expeller pressed like canola yeah. and sunflower he, oil. Now turned everything I'm glad that we're doing this in the middle of a toilet paper shortage. Yeah, it could be ugly. I got to drive home. And you have to drive home. So hopefully it's either instant or delayed. You have leather. Or yeah, like that's that. true. Easy to just spray. To go play <laughs> okay, so I just opened these. Car, I'm gonna like, give it the old sniff test. By a car, get on a sled or like an ATV. No, they don't or smell. Whatever. I just enjoy the days where you don't really. Don't smell too bad. Do because okay. I mean, the downside like working is that on the weekends. I don't smell like a lot of heat, so we're gonna find out this may be anticlimactic. No, they actually smell like kids and everything. Barbecue, sunflower seeds, don't Yeah. Yep. Sorry to steal your thing. Maybe even like you got to catch up with your housework and everything. Barbecue else. Fritos, lot, but yeah. maybe. And now you know, I smell the sunflower seed. Barbecue yeah. sunflower seeds. Yeah, there's, there's definitely no finger. There is it's not like barbecue. Like, we just leave it at that. These virtual so the one chip challenge chip is like really black don't necessarily have to be. because of the seasoning. Yeah. I do appreciate uh, like, these have some the black on them. Actually, giving kids snow days because I was worried about that with virtual. They look more like a very deep orange. Oh, okay, we can Doritos, Doritos kind of so with extra we'll flavor. Virtual. I'm going to get a full size one. I'll let you grab one out of there. Exactly where we are. They, uh, and this is a little ASMR for no people. We'll take a bite. Yeah, you got one that's real dark. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Internet, so uh, we would like to give a shout out to the we doing that before we Spirits there, yeah, slash yeah, Huntington that Beverage that company, company. It's cool for the beer actually, that will hopefully help with this heat. Um, yeah. Unless you know if your parents got so, uh, parents Brew don't dog, Elvis juice, about. So, like, and uh, Cigar really City, Fancy Papers, to to daycare or something. along with some Target branded daycare. water, yeah. and, and a thing of sugar, and a by the thing of sugar that I've magically had in the cabinet. So, I'll chew away from the mic as to not blow your eardrums out, but we'll see what happens. Are we ready? Do this at the same time? Might as well. Everyone, apologies for the pause. We really haven't received much winter weather. Yeah, since he's been born, we really haven't at all. Um, but, uh, so, I mean, okay. not really <clears throat> any kind of, uh, well, snow now is different. Than what <clears throat> well, now they start, get. they start like canceling school the night before. <clears throat> yeah, I actually um, just got to alert my, the, uh, the local YMCA is no, it definitely reminds me of a barbecue Frito. PM. So with much more heat, <laughs> that comes on potential that. risk. Whew, I get fast. that. Like there was no, in, like there was no hesitation in the heat. It was like, <clears throat> you, instant. <laughs> oh, now it's in my nose. On a bus or. Um, but naturally, knocks her chips open, and he's like, "Hey, oh." Anyway, adult snow day. That's a fun if you could actually have it like an actual yeah. snow day. Yeah, well, Alex is turning red. red. Enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, Live it up. Of course, I wow. mean, definite burn yeah. on the oh, tongue. Yeah, great. I did take a phone call the other day from someone. And it's giving me that instant, like, we are gag reflex hiccup. Uh-huh. So I hope uh, with no electricity. <laughs> Don't puke here. And, uh, no, it's two of us because my uh, carpet is I said, beige. Well, you just, I asked uh, the person what they're doing, and they told me ooh, they were okay. a second glass of wine. I'll try the beer first. <laughs> 30 in the morning. And I'm like, really, are you serious? You can't drink anything. Yes, of course. I'm trying to ride it out, okay. actually, right now. kind of snow day. That's a snow day right there. That's an adult snow. That's day. an adult snow. Um, day. Oh, but that is because um, yeah, you know by noon he was probably <clears throat> he wasn't working. He was done. He yeah, was you're still happy. making it. Mm-hmm. Doesn't sound bad. So the yeah, back I mean, says warning. It's freaking yeah, hot. Things, I guess. Um, my apologies to any children sure. listening. It is fucking hot. Yeah, it's not an exaggeration. <laughs> anyway, it is. Um, I got yeah. the, uh, the sweats. The forehead sweats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> another thing we were talking about. Wow. <sighs> you are uh, water. You were red. Every, you know, New I'm sure Year, I am too. Everyone's but. on their fitness kicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting a little red around the cheeks. Everyone, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can take a picture here. Maybe we'll post it. 
Everyone's doing their like uh, you know, their their one hundred sit ups a day or two hundred push ups or whatever. I just feel like I should quote Eminem before. lyrics right now. Listen to the podcast. Well, what about this food and beer? Uh, yes, <laughs> which leads us to the question. Mom, I'll get rid of that. Yeah. vomit on a sweater like, already. I feel like everyone wants to have it's abs. Hot on the ghost pepper chip <laughs> for vacation season. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that like the, 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 may be for the, the reference, the heat like has not went away on my tongue. It is literally on fire. Yes. No, it hasn't faded. But, um, getting the runny nose. <clears throat> uh, so dad like bod versus stuff? I've not had anything to drink yet. I'm torn. I've had a dad bod for a, a long time now. It is just sitting on the tongue, <laughs> pre-dad yes. on the edges of the tongue. <laughs> oh, pre being a dad. Oh, well, but um, um, an like, insane amount like of ghost pepper to look like even that. more ghost pepper. Like, Picture and the heat see. is real. Yeah, it's real, real. I'm not going to put <clears> that much effort into it. But I don't one, think I would um, like to live that life. That's one container, I mean, like, one package is only like 280 that. calories. That'd be, so be cool. Much I healthier than other chips you could eat. <laughs> yeah, because <but, laughs> you're only going to eat one. I mean, you're only going to eat one or two. Every single bit of food you eat. That's only 280 calories. That's actually per chip. Things. I mean, I think you can get there without having to do some of that stuff. I think there are... That's burning my lips now? It's moved to my lips. Uh, but it's, one, it's if so you like rigid. hot stuff, yes. or it actually has good flavor. And you, it's not just not like hot to be hot. Bullshit. If you're actually no, the rich. flavor is pretty good. If you're not, they and, do taste good. If you then can't the heat say, kicks hey, in I'm and eat these real fast, and it comes on oh, how many oh, oh, that I eat The moment it touched my tongue, burgers. it was like you're and an idiot. not have to think about oh what I'm gonna have to do in the gym later. I will make you regret your life decisions. That's rigid. That was exciting. No. So you almost give it like an enjoyment. So, <laughs> well, everyone, like I do the intermittent. Hope fasting, you have a, um, a great that week. Works for me. I'm probably gonna go make myself I puke right now. And Alex is gonna try to not puke That's on my carpet. Yep, we'll see what happens uh, last year. Have a good one. Take care. And I really haven't done. What's up, everyone? So we'll give you a little quick update. Beer. We're back. We're back after a short absence. Possibly all true. Um, for the record, none of us have so, vomited. Cool with that. I don't have the It's still abs. really hot. My tongue is still on fire. It, it's I funny have that the tried body sugar and is water and than it was beer and nothing's worked. In the I'm still without any oh yeah, I can any see. aids yeah. to Yeah, you're doing better than flames. me. In this I definitely one. had less um, jiggliness. Yeah. So uh, I it, actually, the same, I'm gonna, but it's at Christmas time, like, if you are around your family in the gym back in the summer and... And, I tried and to you want and I to, once, especially your like, siblings, because you got to love a good sibling challenge. It, right? Oh, I'm sure we are. Find yeah. a bag of these I chips. Mean, mess with, mess with, mess with each other this way. It would be a fun family thing. Mix them into a bowl of Doritos. Ooh. That would be fun. Russian roulette with chips. Film it. Yes. Nobody will know. I love that idea. Kids, sports, and everything. to do this at a party. Literally, they would blend with Doritos. Oh, they look just like Doritos. Just a little darker. Um, and then as soon as it touches your mouth, you'll know that's not a Dorito. You know it's instantly. It's schedule. It's Man. not like just a gym where you go work out. So. I mean, I'm better now. Right. You've actually you got I would need another one probably. Classes and all that stuff. So uh, I probably won't. That's hard right now. I was to say, right. we're already here. I, like I mean, but I don't want to put the listeners through that again. Stuff, so. so, yeah. I Maybe afterwards. We'll see. But uh, <laughs> You're okay with Alex. That was fun. Be me. It's all right. Um, I'm definitely not prepared for the one chip challenge. lifestyle. I feel like that would have been a mistake. Because I yeah, think no. I probably would have vomited immediately. Yeah. It's possible. Because I mean, it was one, I was, my body was trying. Effort, so the, um, the video I saw, the dude vomited like an hour later. If you are, more power to you. Yeah, Work good for, for you. It. You look great. Keep it up. You yeah, still, you could, it, could, it could still happen. Yeah, I mean, all the hard work. you can probably still see it on my face. Cool, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't, uh, it's just so sitting in my mouth. you the only person and you will get like stared at. Sugar didn't yeah. help, which is usually like, okay. I think I've mentioned that on the podcast yeah. before. It's if the go to. You will drink. You will drink. Cut heat. So, yes. Be prepared. Bring beer. But, you can bring uh, yourself You can't eat for three days because no. of that. Hey, that's so. Um, so, there's a, there's <laughs> a life update. But yeah, that wasn't did. terrible. But, uh, but uh, move on to so another yeah, topic. I'm, uh, uh, for today, I'd get love it. to have that look, but I'm not. I would not love it enough to live that lifestyle. You're not giving up the life. You're not making that drastic of a lifestyle change. Not right to now. Do it. Yeah. Still got time. <laughs> There's always tomorrow. Make that decision if I want to. Always tomorrow. The older you get, the harder it gets. Yes. Which I think is probably never going to happen. <laughs> yeah, just not in the plans right now. I mean, I know people who eat and work out, and they don't look like that still. It takes a certain level of, I think, dedication, too. And well, and body type has a lot to do with it, too. I mean, I think that's a big part of it. Makes it easier for certain people um, to get that look. 
Now maintaining it's still a nightmare because you got to do all the eating and I don't mm-hmm. know. And it's counterintuitive. You got to eat like way more than you think you should because your body needs more nutrients and because you're burning some. I don't know. You know, it's not for me. Yeah, I agree. Not my thing. But but, speaking of eating, yeah. What um, what are some foods like uh you won't eat because I know we we. You are a little picky. So you, so you should know I'm a very picky eater. And I um, I used to be. Not not nearly as much you see anymore. What? I'm like, not picky on stuff that I feel like most people would be picky on. Right. But I am picky on like little stuff that everyone's like, why, are you, why do you care? Particular. I hate onion. Onion is a weird one. Now, if it's like an onion ring. You eat it. I'll eat it. I feel like it brings out the sweetness. Mm-hmm. But like a raw onion in a salad, I think is disgusting. Yeah, I don't like that either. Or on a burger. I like if they're like sauteed on a burger. See, yeah. I could eat them. Okay. But like, but raw, like raw onion on a burger, yeah, no. I'm not a big fan. No. I mean, I'll eat it if it's on there. Like if I go somewhere and I don't think to ask for out it, and it's like too big of a mess to take it off, I'll eat it. But oh, like, no. I'm fully. So onion, you're out on onion? I'm out on onion. onion. Pretty much out on tomato. I don't really like tomato. Uh, mayonnaise. Uh, I don't like plain mayo. I like a, like if you was like an aioli, like a, aioli, okay. like a garlic or a sriracha or something. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, trying to think of what else I know you don't like. Strawberry, obviously. I don't like mushrooms. Mushrooms. Okay. That's, is that a texture thing or what's that? I don't know. I just never really been a big fan of mushrooms. Okay. Cause I used to hate them. Now, and there's a texture I have had me. some mushrooms in uh, certain, certain restaurants that I've, <laughs> Been delicious. That'd have been fine. It's just in general, like button mushrooms or something that's kind of bland. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, mushrooms to me are like, it's one of those foods that tastes like whatever you cook. Yeah, it like they absorb the flavor of whatever you yeah, put with they it. They don't really have a whole lot of flavor themselves. They taste like whatever you cook them with. Yes, it was delicious. Stuffed portobellos are really good. You like the stuffing? I like. Well, I like. Yeah, I like the portobellos. I mean, they're pretty good. Um, I really now like like a sautéed onion and mushroom like on a burger or whatever. Okay. I'll eat that on a. St- I'm not big on putting that stuff on steak. See, I like I steak. Like, I like just people, to be yeah, steak. I just want it to be steak. We'll get some clover and cheese on there sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, so that's yeah. You're not like super. You're picky, but not super picky. You just don't like a certain couple things. But I think I eat more than you do on some stuff. Probably like seafood. Oh, you probably eat more than me. I'm out on a lot of fish. See, I love like swordfish, red snapper, sea bass. Oh, sea bass is a tough one. Now, salmon, I cannot get behind at all. Sam, well, we ate it. Uh, Jessica made it yes, that day. And it, was actually and it was very good. good. And um, But usually salmon and sea bass to me are very fishy, even if they're fresh. They're very, they have that fishy smell. And I know it's all about how it's cooked. And it looks fantastic. I want to eat it. But mm-hmm. it's just like. Mm. Can I can I just like, can I would get always it. try it. Like our friends would always have salmon, like a whole cooked salmon at yes. their get-togethers, and I would always try it. And I was like, mm. yuck. But like, yeah. So like, cooked fish to me is like the worst. But you love raw fish. I do eat like sushi and ahi tuna, which is just seared, not cooked. Yes. Um, I like that stuff a lot. But like once it's cooked, it releases all those oils in fish, which is that's where the fishiness and the smelliness that's where, that's grossness where it, comes from. It's not like mahi. Like just mahi the, the, is the white delicious. fish. Yeah. I don't like anything that's like I'll eat I've eaten mahi. Grouper. Love mahi. Grouper is hit or miss, in my opinion. Like I'll eat it when I'm down in Florida, because I know it's fresh. Um That's the other thing. Like we live in West Virginia. Not a whole lot of seafood I'm willing to eat here. Yeah, you have to go to a night. In my head, if you're going to like a nice restaurant, they're getting it overnight. They're getting it, which overnighted. is what we did. Like when I worked in a restaurant, we overnighted. Like if our, you're paying like forty dollars, fifty dollars for your entree, yeah, it better be fresh. Yes, we overnighted our sea bass, but it's still, oof, it was gross. Um, yeah, so like cooked fish is really like the number one thing, and uh, chicken livers. And liver. I'm not going to eat that stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm I've fine. tried li- chicken liver. So you can, I can honestly say I'm not going to eat it. Oh, I've looked at it. I'm like, I'm fine. It was disgusting. Um, 
We might have talked about that before. I know you and I have talked about yeah. that. I don't know if we talked about it on We here. talked about it on the uh, KFC fast yeah. food yeah. Um, roundup. Chicken livers are uh, mm, nasty. And I don't know if it's a flavor or texture. It's just gross. I think the thought. Yeah, that too. But um, So I was at a restaurant in New York and they were bringing out the foie gras and the pate and everything. And it's like goose liver. And then they brought out like a rabbit prosciutto. And it's just like the... I mean, it was fine. I ate it. It was very, it was good. It was just, you know, that initial hesitation of, oh, I'm eating rabbit. This. And well, it's different than what I would traditionally eat. Yeah. That's where I've gotten a lot better to at least try it before I decide I don't like it. Because the problem is, if you say you don't like it, even if you're willing to try it, you're not going to like it. Mm-hmm. And that's happened to me before. You have to kind of go with that, like, hey, I'm going to like this. And then you'll find out if you really like it or not. And so since I've met Jessica, I've eaten a lot more stuff under that mindset. Just, hey, just what what's the worst that's going to happen? As long as I'm not allergic, I mean, I'm going to yeah, be okay. You'll be fine. It may taste like shit, but <laughs> I'll be all right. Um, the other thing I'm not a big fan on is like, yeah, like gamey meat. Okay. So like venison. Um, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a uh, venison uh, fan. I do like elk. Hmm? It's really good. Um, it's like bison. Bison's, I've had it twice. One time it was very good. The other time it was very gamey for some reason. Um, I had some stuff at a Wyo Steakhouse in Texas. It was bison, uh, quail, which was real greasy. Mm-hmm. And then, um, I can't remember what the other thing was. It was delicious. It might have been venison. And it was actually really good. It's a duck. I enjoy duck. Duck's very greasy. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever actually eaten it. I've seen it. It has to be prepared. Yeah. Good. Pegging duck day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. Um, but, yeah, like, game, wild game, I'm not, maybe elk. That's about it. Okay. You know, cow and stuff, I don't count those. That's not wild game. I'm eating cow. They were okay. once upon a time. Yeah. Yeah. Till we put an end to that. <laughs> um but otherwise, like otherwise, I'm trying to think of what I wouldn't eat. So I even, especially like you know, whenever I had uh, my old roommate and his family are Lebanese, and it was like, oh hey, try this, try this, try this, and you can't say no, no. So you try, and you're like, oh, that's really good. Yeah, Lebanese. Oh my god. And then like, oh, that's one of my favorites. I need to. Hey, if you're listening, have a get together once COVID is over. Because I would like some kibby. You want the Naya. Yeah. yeah. Kibby Naya? Nay. Nay. Yeah. The raw. Yeah. Raw lamb. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's good. Lamb is good. I I do like the lamb. Um I need to go to Nawab too. They need to open back up so I can order my dish because it's not on the menu. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not as picky as I used to be. I used to not eat onion, tomato, mushroom, um, any of that stuff. Wouldn't even like. I didn't even want it on there, like the meme about like, oh, I'll just take it off. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, uh, uh-uh. uh, get it. Don't even if it touches it, it's tainted. <laughs> I'm not eating it. It's gonna taste like it. Um, but I was like growing up, all I ate like when we got to eat was grilled cheese. Okay. That's all I'd ever eat. Okay, this is sounding familiar. Yeah. I would, yeah, sounds like my kids. Yeah. Yeah. I would eat a grilled cheese everywhere we went. Um, now my kids just eat chicken nuggets and pizza, bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, but whatever they eat, at least something. It's food. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm not as picky as I used to be. I just don't, I don't know what else I would not eat. There's probably some weird stuff from other countries I would probably... Now, I have seen some of the... Um, like some of the Japanese cuisine. Yeah. Whenever, you know, before COVID hit and I was planning that trip, I was watching like, the food videos. Yeah, like some like, octopus. I don't know. I've had octopus. The shit that's still moving? I mean, it's been fresh. It hasn't been straight out of the ocean. Yeah. I do want to go to one of those uh, restaurants in Japan where it's like a conveyor belt. I'm mm-hmm. sure they have them other places. Of just like the sushi, the sushi and stuff. Yeah. You just grab what you want. That looks cool, because you may not know. You, sea urchin's one of those that I, I think I'd like to try, mm-hmm. but I'm nervous about what it would taste like. The uh, 
I'm trying to think. I feel like I've had sea urchin before. But what is like what? So what is the number one like your number one food you do not want to eat? I don't know. Like whether you've even tried it I or not. I feel like just the the thought of eating an organ, like chicken liver or yeah, any or of that, heart. is just not something that would be. Yeah, I think I'm right there. Okay with. with. I've eaten the chicken liver and it's gross, but like liver, liver, or like we had like a cow, we had like a quarter of a cow and we ended up with like the heart and the brain. And I gave it to a buddy of mine who cooked it and ate it. I was going probably ate um, it. Well, he's from Uzbekistan. So like over there, that's like a, I mean, you eat everything. You mm-hmm. don't waste anything. And I was not interested. Yeah, that does not sound like something I would be. Probably tastes delicious. Brain, though, I mean, brain's always a weird one. Yeah. I think, did we have the brain? I'm trying to remember. We definitely had the heart. I believe I saw on Friday, it was the 20th anniversary of... Mad Cow? No, of uh, Hannibal, the movie. Oh, yeah, because that new show... Ray Liotta uh, was served a piece of his own... Oh, that's right. in, uh, ...in Hannibal. I don't think I've ever seen it. And it popped up on like Facebook or something. It's like, hey, 20th anniversary. Well, because they're releasing Clarice. Yeah. The prequel. Pre- pre- prequel. prequel. Is that the prequel to Silence of the Lambs or prequel to Hannibal? Prequel to uh, Silence of the Lambs because Hannibal it's, it's is the, the sequel to Silence of the Lambs. Gotcha. I don't think I've seen either. I've just, bleh, word vomit. I don't <laughs> think I have seen either of those movies. Is it either or either? It's whatever you want it to be. This is the English language. That's not accurate. I mean, it could go. It's all in your pronunciation. Like American English, UK English. I mean, by the way, everyone. I feel like are, UK English would be either. We are now on YouTube with our podcast. So I had you list the version of English for every video. Did you pick American? We are United States English. Yeah. U.S. English. Um no, we don't talk in British English. Uh, either I feel like it's kind of uppity, so I feel like that's a UK type. <laughs> either more like so. You're saying you folk. feel the uh, UK is more formal? Very much so. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. They are much more formal. They eat crumpets. Much more polite. Tea and crumpets. I think your wife tried to eat a crumpet earlier and spit it out. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that dessert I don't know. was. <laughs> It looked like something like trash. shortbread with icing and berry, like a berry coolie or something. It looked like on a it. sugar cookie with icing and like some straw, like berry thing. Yeah. It, it, did, <laughs> it did, did not go well. It did not. But uh, anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I think, yeah, I think you're right. Oregon might be the number one thing I would prefer not to eat. Just doesn't, no, it just doesn't sound good to me. I mean, in any way, shape, or form. Situations are situational. I may eat it. Like at this, like at this restaurant in New York, where the charcuterie board came out with the pate and foie gras and all this, I ate it because it was there, and I know what that charcuterie board cost. But am I going to order that myself? No, probably not. I will say now there is an exception to this rule. I feel like there's always exceptions to every rule. Yeah. There's a restaurant in Las Vegas called Bazaar Meats, and it's a Jose Andreas restaurant. I want to say at the Sahara. And one of the one of the appetizers is cotton candy, foie gras cotton candy. Like basically they take like foie gras and they weave it in like the sugar cotton candy. It's delicious. You've had it? Yes. I don't know what foie gras is. You're saying those words. It is. <laughs> I've heard them a million times. So I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like a it's like a, a a paste, like a meat. It's like a pate. Like a pate, but um, it's a uh, uh, duck or goose liver. Oh. You ever had caviar? Hmm. What does that taste like? Salty. Never had it. I mean, I'm not ordering it. I'm not. But uppity. if it's on a thing, I'll. I mean, I would eat it. I don't go to these uppity places. Grape Poupon. Grape Poupon. It's in my refrigerator. Thank you very much. Hey, who doesn't use Grape Poupon? <laughs> it's like, just spicy orange I don't, mustard. I don't use like yellow mustard. I've yeah, never gra- liked yellow grape mustard. Grape Poupon is spicy brown mustard. That's all it is. Yeah. Why was it such a thing back then? I don't know. I mean, do you have your Rolls Royce parked Excuse outside? Me, sir. Do you have any Grape Poupon? But of course. Oh. 
Told you the British were uppity. <laughs> Tried that's, to make, that's they tried French. to make mustard. Oh, that whatever. That's French. Yeah, European. <laughs> Try to make mustard fancy. Is that American mustard? <laughs> it's yellow. Yellow. Bright yellow. Tastes good. What's the? Is it, it's not Heinz. What's the French's? French's mustard is the mustard. Yes, that is the. I have had them all, but quintessential mustard. There's another one that starts with that. maybe maybe a D. I don't know. It's like the little sharp, fat, round bottle. Red, yellow bottle. Red little twist top. I can't remember the name. It's not bad. Okay. I'll take your word for it. I think my father-in-law uses that mustard over French's. I do feel like everyone gets a has a brand that they go to. You have a brand of everything. Don't, like, don't you? Like most people? Oh, God, yeah. Like ketchup is what? It's Heinz. Are Hines. you Heinz or Hunt's? It's Heinz. See, I'm a Heinz. And I do actually slightly judge people in my head that don't buy Heinz ketchup. It's weird. Now, Heinz came out like the three-pack for like picnics. They had like Heinz ketchup, Heinz mustard, and Heinz like pickle relish. Okay. On like squeeze bottles. I've had that mustard. Eh, it's mustard. It's mustard. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know. Why does mustard get that nasty watery shit on it? I don't know. Ketchup does it too now too, I've noticed. You got to shake it up. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I, I guess whatever it is, it's, it's just like it's when you just, open like sour cream and it's water. Yeah, like, you gotta like or make, yogurt, like the water separation. Oh, why is that so gross? Um, I don't know. But that's like the worst. Like when you go but to it, put it, mustard it, on something, and it's just like, <laughs> it's just like mustard water. You're like, what? <laughs> You're like, gotta throw that bread away. I feel like when you like, yeah, like, excuse, me. yeah, done. Next, next piece. Yeah. Uh, apparently, if you do not put mustard in the refrigerator, it will get a bitter taste. What, who doesn't put mustard in the refrigerator? I don't know. That's another thing. Oh, we got to have that conversation on the podcast. And if your mustard dries out, you should add a small amount of wine or vinegar. How about you just fucking throw it away and buy some more? It's cheap. <laughs> what if you don't buy cheap mustard? Are you buying grape upon? I mean, I have it in my freaking fridge. Have you checked the expiration date? No. We've had this conversation. Shit expires. I'm sure it does expire, but... Probably needs thrown away. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I bought it during quarantine when I was mm. watching Bon Appetit videos till they had a meltdown on their YouTube channel. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, oh, I can make this and I can make this. I'm gonna make, And Claire makes this. I'm going to make this. And then I got real and realized that I don't have a KitchenAid stand mixer. I one. don't have like four other specialty things. I don't have a commercial. You're grade, not a chef. I don't have a commercial grade kitchen sitting here. Yeah, and I don't cook. Yeah, I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna buy all this stuff because I'm gonna cook. Uh, Grubhub, how yeah. quick can you bring me Wendy's? Yes, that's life. But anyway, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm with you on the organs. I'm not gonna eat them. Yeah, we did kind of vary off that topic a we, little we bit. Got, we, got, we strayed. I feel like I feel like I feel like we're good at that. Happens a lot. I hope you guys enjoy the ramble. That's what that's what makes it good. It's conversation. It's what we do. That's what that's when we have the best ones, I think. We're just sitting here having a conversation and recording it for posterity. But we will have that conversation about and brands. Hopefully next week, since we do have a YouTube channel. We might have video. We will have a video podcast as well. Not of this episode. Not of this episode. Or It'll past episode. Next episode. We'll see. We just have Not to sure take, how I felt about being on camera. We have to take the time to... Uh, Rig that up. Rig, yeah. Actually, Alex is going to have to go get a haircut. I just got one. Trim his beard. Just did that. Probably get some eyebrow waxing. Uh, might I'm sorry, do that. threading. No. Um, no, I haven't done that one. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe go you know, do a facial scrub. You just try to get some glow for the camera. No. We'll do a grooming episode. Ooh. Oh, we'll have video. We can yeah, do that well, kind of thing. We can do like every other influencer. This episode is sponsored by Sephora. You can't afford it, but don't you, worry. You can't afford it, but don't worry. And you won't look this good. And you're paying more than I did. Uh, use my code for 2%. <laughs> what, what's that guy's name? Those, uh, those are hilarious. Uh, uh, haters. Haters. H yeah. H-A-Y-D-E-R-S. Z. Z. D-E-R-Z. On Instagram. On Instagram. Hilar yeah. I actually had to follow him because mm. I kept watching his videos. Makes fun of the influencers. Yes. I like it. Unboxing his McDonald's Grubhub. 
I will say, out of the Grubhub, I do get delivered from fast food establishments. The double bagging from McDonald's is a very nice touch. I like it. Yeah. Talk about as the like the rolled bag with the sticker. Yes. This is like the have you seen well you yeah, you saw the um, that video, but you get like your food in like the McDonald's bag, and then you get it placed in like a heavy duty brown shopping bag that's sealed. Yeah, I like it. Like, I like that. That's nice. I wish they would give that to you when you just go through the drive thru because they load up the fucking bag and everything falls out on the floor. Grease is all over the side. Grease is on the seat. Everything's like, you take a turn the wrong way and there's french fries in your floor. And suddenly your large fry is now really a kid's fry because, uh, whoops. It was a medium to start with. Probably, yes. <sighs> but anyway, I think that's enough of us uh, going on. Yep. Hope well, you guys enjoy the episode. Uh, subscribe, rate, review. Check us out on YouTube. Check us out on no, YouTube. It's no the, video. Subscribe on there. It is the Belly Flop cast. Or actually, just the belly flop. Just the belly flop. If you search, it's got our logo. You'll find us. Yep. Um, once we get more subscribers, we can actually like do more, like make it look more. YouTube will like let us, us do more stuff. Um, but right now we're just kind of stuck with what we got. Yeah. And hopefully we'll start actually putting video with the episodes, not yes. just the audio. Add another layer of fun. Uh, could be fun. Yep. You guys take care. Stay safe. And uh, hopefully have a great week. Yep.